What's up guys, Dan from PressAdaJoin.com, back bringing you another achievement guide. This time around we're going to be going for a whole bunch of achievements in Goat Simulator, which is available on the Xbox One and the Xbox 360. Might be available on the PlayStation, I'm not sure. The first achievement we're going to go for directly from your original spawn. If you make your way up the outside of that tower into the arch, the top arch, you'll appear inside a castle. If you make your way to the throne and hop on top with the A button, after a few seconds you'll be walked back to where you originally were and you'll unlock the Goat Queen achievement which is worth 30 gamer score. The next achievement we're going to go for is what is its purpose, it's another 30 gamer score achievement. You just saw where I was then, I'm showing you how to get back there. The idea is to knock all these stone slabs over, it's like Stonehenge. You can actually do it with a domino effect, but unfortunately I failed miserably at looking all over in one go, as you can see. Almost get it there, but not quite. So yeah, all you got to do is eliminate all the stones. You can headbutt them using the RT. Once all the stones are down, you'll see Trash the Goat Henge appear on your screen, and then the achievement will unlock for 30 gamer score. If you then use the respawn, actually, the respawn doesn't really put you where you need to be, but it's close to where you need to be. So from the respawn, make your way up these steps and across the road. You're going to want to go into this house near where you started, when your original spawn was. Go into the garage, turn immediately left and you'll see this luminous blue thing on the table. So attach your tongue to it with the X button. Just press the X button and it'll attach itself to it. And then follow the route I take over these two fences into the cornfield. Past the cars. And you'll see two circle shaped in the hay, in the corn. You want to go to the second post and the device will attach itself directly to the top of the pole. And if you wait a few moments, a UFO is going to appear. This is a 100 game score achievement. It's rim skep. I overrhymed them. It's for going into outer space. So you can see the UFO is now approaching. And when it's directly over the top of me, you want to hold down the A button. And you'll start to elevate into the air and eventually board the ship. So make sure you don't let go of the A button. Make sure you don't move around the analog stick either as you'll fall out of the smoke and probably, probably just hit the floor. And there you go. There's a 100 gamer score. Pretty sure you have to respawn to get back to Earth. The next achievement is probably the most annoying achievement in the game. It's called the Flat Master. It's for scoring 10 points in Flappy Goat. Uh, you'll find this game upstairs in the coffee house. Approach the TV and press the Y button to start it. The object is to get yourself through 10 of these ladders. They've got gaps in the middle. You can do this pressing the Y button. You have to keep mashing the Y button and you, you have to get used to the controls and master it. It's a pretty tricky achievement but definitely doable. It's kind of random so I don't really have any tips for that, you just have to use the Y button. Slowly mash the Y button. The next shoot we're going for is the Mile High Club. This is for licking the hang glider. The way you get to do that is you need to climb the crane. The hang glider is in the first area. You'll find the crane near the construction site. So make your way up the giant first ladder. You're going to need to walk around the outside to get to the second ladder, which is a lot smaller than this. So be careful when you're going around the outside because you can fall straight off. And then it's a long trip back up again. And once you're at the top of the second ladder, take a right. You won't fall through these, make your way right to the very end. There'll be a guy here, you can knock him off. And just wait on the very edge. And if you pan around, you can see the, you can see the hang glider coming around. When it gets close, you want to hit the back button, which will slow time down. You're then going to want to jump with the A button. And it's all about timing here. I must have took me 10 attempts before I finally landed on the hang glider. I would manual when I landed on top of it and then knock myself off. So it took me a fair while to get this. Yeah, as it starts to get close, you'll see roughly when I slow time down. There, I've slowed time down. And I'm just timing my jump. 
be surprised how far the goat leaps. Land on top of the hang glider. I'm not sure if you can lick it while it's in midair if you missed landing on top. And just press the X button. You'll get knocked flying, but you'll also unlock 90 gamer score. Press the X button if you want to break away from the hand glider. The next achievement we're going to go for is Mattress Madness, which is worth 30 gamer score. It's for bouncing on a mattress 100 times in 30 seconds. Again, we're going to use the slow mo for this. So, with the Angel Goat uh, mutation on, and the double jump, I've made my way into this building. You're going to want to go to the top floor, but not right to the roof. And there'll be matches on the ceiling, matches on the floor, so slow time down. And using the left analog stick and the A button to jump. Just kind of keep yourself on the mattresses. I do come off a couple times, but it's a fairly easy achievement. This is a lot easier with slow motion. If you didn't have slow motion, you'd be going up and down very, very quickly, and you'll probably come off the mattresses. Yeah, just press the A button. There's matches on the ceiling as well, which keep you going up and down. And you'd be surprised, even with slow motion, that this can take a while to get. But you have to hit the mattress 100 times in 30 seconds. And you see there, I come off of it and get straight back on. Eventually we'll hit 100 jumps and the jump will unlock. I'm not sure if there are any other areas like this around the game where it's this easy. And there's the achievement. That's 30 gamer score, Mattress Madness. Bounce 100 times on the mattress within 30 seconds. The next achievement we're going to go for is Around the World on 5 Trampolines, which again is worth 30 gamer score. So again, it's the same as the same as the mattress we want to make our way up here. But you want to go into, press the B button as you jump on that fan. You'll go shooting in there. The idea is to hit all five mattresses. You can only hit them one time each. So if you jump onto that fan and press the B to go ragdoll, it's a lot easier to control it. You can manipulate yourself with the left analog stick, pull yourself back. I'd aim for the center. Seems that aiming for the blue part doesn't really help. But if you touch all five mattresses, you will unlock the 30 gamer score. And that's the fifth mat uh, trampoline. Not mattress, rather. And there's the achievement 30 gamer score around the world on five trampolines. Visit tra five trampolines in one jump. The next achievement we're going to go for is Demo Goat. This is for, I think, blowing up 10 gas canisters in one go. For me, this is easier done inside this area. You just butt your way through that entrance. It takes me a couple of attempts to get this one, but there are like rockets, I'm, I'm guessing. These are rockets. If you pick them up, there's a lot of crates around in this area. If you pick them up and then use the headbutt motion to make it explode. You'll see I attempt it on the first one, but fail miserably. So I go back for a second go. Knock these crates over to push them close to the other ones. Grab yourself a rocket. And you see, actually, me knocking the crates over caused the explosion. So maybe that's the best thing to do, knock those crates over. But you can get it in that area very easily. The next cheat we're going to go for is Boulder of Death. If you make your way up this mountain, you'll come to this boulder. It's right behind the red house. If you go up to it and headbutt it, it doesn't really matter where it goes. As long as it hits something, you'll get the achievement. See this time around, I'll blow the cars up. You can hit the people, hit the table. As long as you hit something, you'll get the achievement. That's worth 15 gamer score. Now you can use this boulder again to get yourself a second achievement. If you can get the boulder through either licking or, as you see here, I'm just pushing it because the licking is glitching on me and it's not dragging the boulder along. If you bring it to where the car is, the other car is 
flying around and push it directly into its path. You know, like another achievement, another 15 gamer score. Here comes the car now, blows up. And you get the dodge this achievement, which is worth 15 gamer score. Directly from there, if you make your way up towards where the hillbilly is, I sent it around a goat, you'll start the next achievement, which is Alexandra Goat Starson. It's 15 game score, it's for surviving or fighting in the arena. It's easily done by just running up. You see, I just do it one after the other. Just run up to the goat as they appear, press the RT to headbutt them, you knock them straight out of the arena. And unlock yourself another 15 gamer score. Now we're going to go into the second area of the game for the remaining achievements. The first achievement we're going to be going for is Build a Goat. It's for collecting all three blocks within the game, so directly from coming out the tunnel, if you make your way down the hill and to the right, and just follow the path that I take, and you'll find your first block. They are Minecraft blocks. I think grass, dirt, and wood. So if you follow the path that I take, you'll find all the blocks. This is supposed to be a Slender Man type area. That's where you'll find your first block. My bad, I think it's cobblestone. But yeah, make your way back out of there. The second block is going to be the grass block. From the skating area, which is not hard to miss on the map. If you follow the way up the hill here, I actually get a little bit sidetracked, I go too far to the left. It takes me a few seconds before I clock on, it's behind me. I turn around, the grass block is on the on the hill here. That's the second block. The third block, make your way down to where the carnival is. And you come around the back underneath the roller coaster. You don't have to jump into the water from here, you can do it actually from the road back there. But yeah, if you make your way onto this little island. You're going to find the final block, it's behind a tree. There's a wood block. And that'll unlock you the Builder Goat achievement. If you make your way from here, make your way back onto the road, and make your way to the bridge. If you go off the left hand side into the water, you're going to find like a sewage pipe. And you're going to want to make your way inside here for another two achievements. Just for entering the pipe, you'll unlock 15 gamer score for disgusting. You also unlock the repulsive goat mutation. Also inside to the left you're going to find four guys, I'm guessing pretending to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you headbutt all these guys, you're going to unlock the Ling Ling into Battle Girl achievement. Also worth 15 gamer score. Once you're done with that, make your way back outside. Double jump up onto this rock. We're going to go for the next one which is a story about my goat. It's another one worth 15 gamer score. If you follow the path that I take and go into this garage on the right hand side. Uh, what's that doing over there? In the back to the left is a little device, a transportation device I'm assuming, I don't know. But if you stand on top of it you'll unlock another 15 gamer score. A story about my goat. The next one we're going to unlock is a story about my elevator. This is for making your way to the top of the skyscraper without using an elevator. So you're going to be outside the hotel make a right from the hotel, hop onto these ledges, onto this roof then onto this ledge, turn to the left you're going to see a mattress on the floor, it's good to have the angel mutation on and a double jump for this, I always have them on just to be, when I'm doing big jumps like this, but yeah you can you can actually make it to the, the fans from here using this mattress, as you'll see I hit the trampoline a couple times to get full elevation. Unfortunately, I narrowly missed the fan this time around. Crash land onto the roof and hit the floor. But yeah, if you jump back off again and land on the mattress, you'll end up shooting even higher. As you see this time around, I make it up onto the fan, land directly on top of it. That will then push you the rest of the way on top of this roof. You don't have to land on this roof. Where the people are is just fine. And you'll unlock a story about my elevator. Plus 30 game of score. You can also get a second achievement up here as well. Goats and stuff. So you can make your way on top of the disc, jockey, disc jockey's table here and then lick the disc jockey. You'll end up with his hat on. You'll also end up with another 15 gamer score. 
that's for starting your own concert. We've got two more achievements left. The next one we're going to go for is one ball. This is for riding a bike for 60 seconds. In the street here you can find two bikes. You can even lick it and take it into the road and position it where you want it. It's easy done when you use the slow motion. As you see there I use slow motion to turn myself around. You can use slow motion permanently for this. I mean, you need to push forward on the left analog stick to get the bike going. But you I mean you can you can do it either way. You can have it with slow motion or no slow motion. I tend to use slow motion when turning corners. But if you take the path that I take, you'll get it roughly around the same time I get mine. I use that slow motion just to get around this corner here. And I stay on the side of the road where I can see the cars coming. So no car's going to hit me because I'm on the right side of the road. Avoid the two idiots have just been knocked over. Yeah, you see, it's a balance. You're using the left analog stick, wiggling it left to right to keep yourself on the bike. If you feel yourself going at any point, you can just instantly hit the back button and put the slow motion on. It makes life incredibly easy. I probably actually ride the bike for more than 60 seconds, but I stay on it right at the end of this path just to make sure. It doesn't actually trigger while you're on the bike, you have to get off the bike to trigger the achievement. But you'll know roughly when 60 seconds is. As soon as I can approach the end of the road here, I'll just press the A button to hop off. Doesn't matter if you crash, as long as you're on the bike for 60 seconds. And there you go, that's 90 game score, one ball. The final achievement we're going to go for is Valkyrie. So again, make your way back to the carnival. You're going to find this bucking bronco area. If you nudge it out of the way, a human will jump onto your back. You're going to want to make your way back almost up to the tunnel you first came in on. The idea of this achievement is to catapult, use the catapult while someone's riding you. And don't ask me what on earth the person on my back is doing, the body's flying all over the place, arms flailing about. I also have no clue how to get the person off of your back once you've got the achievement, so I end up usually having to quit and then reload my game because you can't, it doesn't matter why they're respawning, you respawn with them back on your back. And it can be very annoying trying to get other achievements, a little distracting. But make your way yeah, to the right, just in front of the tunnel, you'll find a catapult on the hill, jump yourself on top of it, you get pinged in the air, and you'll unlock 30 gamer score. That's the final achievement in this video guide. I hope this has been a help. Thanks for watching.